In today's video, I'm going to do a tabletop on my top 10 items that I use outside of my RV living full time on the road. This idea was suggested from Captain B at B's Outdoor Adventures and I'll put her link right up here to her channel so go check her out. The items I'm going to talk about today some of them or by category and or simple as one item. So let's get started. This item I would call my outdoor cooking items or my outdoor cooking category. If you've watched my channels channel at all you know that I love to cook outdoors. Um, whether that's barbecue or cooking in the Dutch oven, but I have to have all of my cooking items. That is probably one of my biggest and most favorite items. The second item would be a floor jack. I had a blowout one time on a travel trailer and all I had with me was my pickup jack and it was very difficult to maneuver and be able to, and the trailer was uh, dual axle so it was very difficult to get a regular truck jack to um, change a tire out in the middle of nowhere. Ever since then I carry a floor jack in my vehicle so I can change tires much easier. Number three is a step stool that I use uh, quite often. My truck camper only has two steps and I've even had to build this up higher by putting two by fours or one by uh, two by sixes underneath it and so this is a real good one because it has the non-skid surface. Always carry a step. Some of these places are really unlevel and you may be, after you put out your RV steps, you still may be two or three feet from the first step and that's hard to get in and out. Okay, let's talk fresh water. So I carry two uh, fresh water hoses and a water filter and also I carry um, most of the time a Berkey water filter um, it's in the truck camper so I don't actually have it with us right now and then all kinds of connectors um, I've just collected these over the years and uh, if someone needs one then I have one they can I have also, which I have on the faucet here, is, is a splitter, so, and I usually, I just gave one out this morning because one of the faucets has a leak, so, and it has a cut off on that splitter, so I don't have an extra one, but I always try to keep extra fresh water uh, fittings, and I also keep hose uh, ends on both sides at least one in case I need to cut a hose and replace it and also the the washer inside there so that is my freshwater system okay let's talk the other the nasty side you always want gloves <laughs> I carry leather gloves but also carry any kind of rubber glove but I carry a an elbow um, but the one I have on the camper right now it's see-through very important you want to be able to see things moving um, I had a serious clog at a campground I won't go into details but I didn't have a clear one and so I could never tell if something was released the clog was released or not um, I also carry this is for any kind of any kind of garden non-drinking but if I need to use it 
for sewer or anything like that that's for my sewer and it goes in a, um, a different area but this is one I want to talk to you about ultra mint water blaster I bought this and I have used it uh, way several several times to <laughs> clean out clogs and I always put a glove over it so I will because this part you can put down in your toilet and use that uh, hose through through the camper and this is a jet sprayer basically and you can get down there where the clogs are or if you had to go the other way but you can turn this once you get it down into the commode you can kind of turn it and you can clean the walls of your tank and plus it's telescoping telescopic if you need to be yeah so this one right here has saved me probably serious uh, having to take it to a professional to <laughs> clean out your if you get into a mess when you have a mess ha -ha. Um, when you have a clogged sewer system so just over the years I've collected things that has gotten me out of a bind but I have an extra sewer hose some other kind of caps just things I've collected over the years um, one of those so a T this trailer here has two gray water tanks so if you're staying anywhere for a long time you can hook up two two of the gray waters and goes into one septic but I don't need that so all right that was the black water system my next category is tools I carry a lot of tools um, and this is just a representation of all the tools that I carry but being a park host and like here I'm the only you know person so I need tools hammer screwdrivers whatever but you need tools I've have used this with part of working on the fence I've used this working on the fence I've used this at my off-grid cabin I'll put a link up there <laughs> um, so plus I do have a off-grid cabin so you know all these are uh, needed especially as a park coast to go along with the tools, I also carry nuts and screws, anything that I might need. And these are small, but I put this together um, before I sold my house. And so I have basic nuts and screws and bolts, cotter pins and, and uh, razor blades, hooks, uh, electrical items electrical hopefully you won't need any of those but um, smaller little screws and nails I mean you're in an RV you don't need anything really big but other nails that's heat shrink electrical there's some bigger screws and electrical you know I've, just, I've used these I've used these and other people need stuff I have items too if someone else is needing a small screw or something like that but I've used this even as a park coast I've used these items so the next item is this propane tank refill adapter I know a lot of people um, probably will have a lot of say in the comments don't use those but I've been using it for over a year now and well been a year yeah I think so a year and a half and it is definitely worth its weight in gold I refill these from a regular propane canister and I've it's very safe I, I believe so that is one that keeps me and my mr. buddy heater going in the winter and might be out in the middle of nowhere and you need to refill a small either for cooking or for warmth so always keep this on hand the socket uh, 
course you have to have a drill for to use a socket but I don't need this for the truck camper but if you have a travel trailer that has jacks then this is a necessity otherwise you're gonna be using a crank and doing it by hand so this is real fast it's speedy it's easy easy on your knees because you're not down there forever cranking easy on your back so I put this in its own category this is a must-have you're outside and you want to have some fun so of course you all know mine is fishing uh, one of my outdoor activities kayaking I don't have the kayak but kayak uh, fishing um, this is a hammock you know you've got to take things with you that you're gonna enjoy while you're outside I hope you enjoyed this list of items that I use outdoors with my RV and um, if there's something you think that I don't have <laughs> or that I need put in the comments below I'll let you know if I have them or not because this was a very small list of all the things that I carry with me if you're liking these daily videos give me a thumbs up hit the subscribe button if you hadn't already subscribed and go ahead and hit the bell and that will send you a notification when I have a new video out I'll see y'all tomorrow Thank you.